What is innovation really? Well, we might say that innovation is what happens when we see a problem and we push the boundaries of our own thinking to fix it. In the case of our next segment, the spark of innovation came about when a grandson decided he could no longer watch his grandfather struggle. Each night, this young visionary awoke to the sound of his grandfather rustling as he hopped out of bed and left to walk kilometers to his fields where he would irrigate his crops. This burden is a common one with farmers across India trekking long distances during the night to tend to their crops. The grandson thought there must be a technology that could solve this problem and remove this burden of irrigation on farmers. Well, here is the story of how an extraordinary innovator used science to solve his grandfather's problem and the problem of farmers all across the continent. Sometimes the best scientific breakthroughs start right at a farmer's lifeline is his crop. The yield depends on irrigation. With scanty rainfall, farmers are forced to walk several kilometers to turn on the pumps that water their fields. Erratic electric supply results in artists' journeys in the dead of the night. और रास्ता भी अच्छा नहीं था, पानी का वेस्टेज भी ज़्यादा हो रहा था। पहले इतना प्रॉब्लम था कि जाने-आने का खेलता भी वो था, और रात को बिजली गई, तो पाव भी जाना पड़ता था। Entered an enterprising Santosh Oswal with a solution, christened Nano Ganesh, a device that enables farmers to control the functioning of their irrigation pump through a mobile phone. In Nano Ganesh unit. Uh, there is one mobile phone and this mobile phone has been charged uh, by an organized unit itself and what we have to do, I have to just call uh, this mobile phone uh, from any place. Now I am just calling to this mobile phone. Now call has been given. Now I am hearing one tone. This tone is showing that electricity is available there at the water pump end. If electricity is not there, I will not listen any voice. If electricity is there, I am listening this voice. Now if light is there, farmer will start the motor. Now there is one code. After pressing this code, this pump has been started and I get a different voice. So this voice confirms that motor has been started. A mobile modem device which enables farmers to control the functioning of their motor pump set from anywhere. Nano Ganesh is already benefiting 15,000 farmers. An innovation that electrical engineer Santosh Oswal brought to the fields in order to conserve water, electricity and reduce time and labour of farmers. There are different aspects like it should be appropriate uh, for the rural zone uh, as I describe always, uh, it should be operated by an illiterate person. It should be technically sustainable at least for three to four years in the hazardous area of the uh, water zones. So uh, it has to be robust enough, heavy enough. We want to make it at low cost. To assure all this, it was a big challenge for us to bring a big uh, big high-tech in a capsule form. Designed for Indian agro needs, Nano Ganesh overcomes any kind of voltage fluctuations and operates in perilous terrains, all to empower the grassroots Indian. Appropriate technology in the sense, uh, it can be operated on any supply voltage range ranging from 3 phase 250 volts to even 3 phase 500 volts. Uh, it can work very satisfactorily in any weather conditions, in hazardous conditions. Assisting farmers in managing water pump systems through his innovation, Santosh Oswal aims to minimize the financial costs of farmers while sowing seeds of success. What are the resources? Water, electricity, soil, time, labor, by installing Nano Ganesh, uh, basically we are making all vestiges of resources zero. 
Well, water is the first step to feeding India. The next step is seeds. After the break, we take a look at the seeds that are making it possible to feed our population like never before. We all know India is a large country, more than 1 billion people. But did you know? that we have about 15 million more mouths to feed each year. And what do we people in India eat? Rice. In fact, rice is the most important food crop in the country. It occupies 42 million hectares of our land, making this country home to one of the largest blankets of rice in the world. But as our country grows and grows and grows, we will need to produce 2 million more tons of rice every year to keep up. That is a tall order. So how do we take this staple crop to the next level? How do we make this common crop invincible so that we can achieve food security? Some of the best scientists in the country are working to make seeds that can thrive in India's tough conditions. This means that we will be able to feed our growing country and continue to be a world exporter of rice too. There is one company in particular that is leading the way and helping India's agriculture to thrive. Let's head to the paddy. Lush green fields of paddy, an ample yield and a prosperous India. That's a recurring dream for farmer Ashok Kumar Singh. In a country where rice is a staple, especially in southern and eastern regions, but it's a tough task with crops that fall prey to pests and an erratic monsoon pattern. And a truant monsoon can play havoc with the rice harvest. In the year, six or seven times it is used for the seed of the seed. But this year, two times it was used for the seed of the seed. And it was used for the seed of the seed. Eastern India is the largest rice growing region in, in India. And uh, this part is basically a rain-fed and monsoon dependent. In case of a bad monsoon, in case of a rainfall, uh, bad rainfall, farmer loses the entire crop. Imagine a farmer whose life is dependent on single crop of rice and he loses the entire crop because of there is no rain. What is needed is a sturdy and a hardy variety of rice that is suited to the changing local conditions, where the traditional varieties are not able to survive. This is one of the local varieties being grown in this part of India. This year, because of low, low rainfall, performance of this variety is not very good. Farmer is not going to get a very good yield from this particular plot. I, I will take you to one of the PHP 71 plot in a nearby field, which also is being given similar kind of water and similar kind of rain. And you can see the performance and see the visible difference in that plot compared to this particular plot. The revolution for a good harvest and a bumper crop started with the humble seed. DuPont Pioneer in India has come to the rescue of millions of farmers like Ashok by developing the hybrid PHP 71 variety of rice, which not only delivers a better yield than the traditional variety, but is also more stress resistant, especially in parched lands. This is PHP 71 plot, which is very, very near to the other plot which we have seen earlier. In tough condition also, this crop is showing a very, very good performance. You can see the very good growth which is in, uh, reflected in the crop and farmer is going to get a very good yield. The difference between the hybrid and traditional varieties of the rice crop ensures that the farmers are no longer at the mercy of the weather conditions. Uh, hybrid seed is basically a combination of two very good in, in, uh, varieties. Our breeders basically work in controlled environment uh, with two varieties and they try to bring a proper, uh, best quality of two, both the variety into one, one particular single variety. They keep on basically uh, mixing these varieties till the time they get the right perfect fit which is really fitted into the local condition. You will see that in the hybrid seed, in two bars, this seed is completely ready and this seed does not take the name of the seed. We have also two waters in it and two waters in it. But the seed is the best of the seed. This is the seed. Pioneer Company का PHB एक कहत्तर है और ये देसी है। Aptly known as the Sukhe का शेर, which translates into a drought fighter, this PHB 71 variety of rice has been a big boon for rice farmers all over India. एक स्लोगन था एक कहत्तर का कि सुखे का शेर, 
हम लोग इसके पहले पिछले साल हम लोगों को नहीं समझ में आ रहा था कि सूखे का शेर मतलब क्या लेकिन इस साल बारिश इतना न कम हुआ कि इस साल लग रहा है कि सूखे का शेर मतलब इकहत्तर अकेला इकहत्तर धान है जो सूखे का शेर है The search and the quest is for a bountiful produce, zero crop failure and zero hungry mouths in India. Dupont Pioneer is bringing innovative science-based innovative solutions which is helping us in meeting up our goal of zero hunger. We have the second largest agriculture sector in the world, but pressure on this vast system is mounting. As our population grows, we must continue to innovate in order to feed all of our people and achieve shunya hunger. Over the course of the past half hour, we have seen people who are revolutionizing agriculture, whether by increasing productivity or even overcoming the vagaries of Mother Nature. These innovators are addressing the imbalance between India's food supply and demand. And in doing that, they are boldly working towards a future of zero, zero crop failure, and zero hungry mouths until next week when we take you on another journey into india's innovators it's goodbye from me anupam kher next week we embark on a quest to find innovators who are finding a solution to the problem of pollution a clean cooking stove is cutting pollution to save lives a powder that can reduce pollution in water bodies and robots that can tackle air pollutants in our homes Expansive fields, crops that feed a billion mouths and fresh farm produce that safely makes its way to our supermarkets and homes that is the abundance in india that we hope for years ago we were further from this goal than ever before before the green revolution india struggled to produce enough food for its people famine visited us all too often and there was no end in sight but in 1968 india took a leap forward in self reliance revolutionizing its entire agriculture sector and paving a way for the future of farming now the time for revolution is upon us once again first we must find a way to feed the 213 million indians who go hungry every day and second as our population bursts at the seams as resources stretch thin and farmers struggle to keep up we must figure out how to provide food for nearly 40,000 new people that will be born tomorrow demand for food already outstrips supply and that demand will only grow so how do we increase our supply we need smarter equipment stronger seeds and better water system over the next half hour we will travel across india to get up close with agriculture's game changers these are the people and companies who are pushing this sector forward modernizing it for the 21st century in the quest for zero crop failure and most importantly zero hunger if agriculture is the backbone of india then water is its blood supply for centuries we have been trying to control how our country distributes its water resources but water doesn't always come in nice steady flows too much water can lead to crop failures and waste while too little water leaves farmers struck by drought affecting output for weeks now new and innovative types of irrigation promise to direct the flow of water so that we can efficiently grow as much food as possible these types of innovations will become vital and here is why In the next 4 decades the world is expected to demand 55% more water and agriculture will account for most of that yet a warming climate in india decreases the amount of water available how will we ensure that we have enough water to properly irrigate 
and that we use the water that we do have wisely without being wasteful. One company is changing the way Indian farmers irrigate their fields. In the process, they are boosting our food output. So take a look at how we can change the way we use and save the most valuable resource on earth. India's irrigation sector is caught up in a vicious cycle. Erratic monsoon, water shortage, inadequate funds and poor irrigation services have resulted in low productivity of crops and income to the irrigators. Time a light now to a pony no both a day, a more pakna muk looks on today. But he majuri no major problem or label no. Finding a solution to the everyday irrigation woes of farmers like Arvind Patel is NetFM India. Ritmo khatar alwo to khatar vyastha na jai, ninda man ochu thai, pani bache, light bill bache, gana bada phaida thai thai mo. If you look at the challenges which a common farmer has in India, basically is that they face acute water shortage. Then there is a challenge of basically labors. So, and then when the price is not good for produce, you need to have more productivity. So what Netafim does is do the hand holding after giving drip irrigation system an agronomical support how to get higher productivity. Netafim India specializes in innovating technologically advanced products that deal with drip irrigation and irrigation automation. In India, the challenges which agriculture is facing, higher productivity with less and less agri-inputs, that's where we found that this country would get benefit with our technology and the agrarian committee here would enjoy the benefits. So that's where we thought investing here and having our subsidiary is appropriate. Since its establishment, Netafim has been manufacturing and supplying a wide range of irrigation products. Some of its major products in irrigation include drippers and dripper lines, filters, fertigation equipments, walls, air walls, check walls, control walls and water meters, sprinklers and micro sprinklers, PVC pipe and fittings, connectors and others. State-of-the-art manufacturing facilities and expertise are used in producing such world-class micro-irrigation products. We, here we manufacture inline and online uh, dripper lines and uh, we outsource uh, filtration units. We, we have the tie-up with uh, the best technology in the world as far as filtration technology is concerned. Another key part of Netafilm's service is to provide greenhouse solutions to enhance crops and manage climate control for their growth. In this, we have uh, control of the insects, light and uh, uh, temperature, we can say. We also use here the micro-irrigation system and the foggers. Micro-irrigation system basically provides the uh, water drip by drip and this fogger creates the humidity. So what is it that makes Netafim products unique compared with the traditional methods of irrigation? We have ISO 9001-2008 and ISO 14001 2004 uh, certification, which itself tells that how best we are added to the quality standard. The second thing is that we have some patented technologies which other companies or other industry players don't have. With an aim to produce more with less, Netafim's pioneering innovation strives to achieve zero irrigation worries for farmers. Shunya comes to your mind, basically what uh, it comes to your, what you see is that it is a complete thing, a holistic approach. So it's not about just saving the water, what we want to do is that improve the overall livelihood of the farmer by increasing his productivity and the quality of work he does in agriculture. So improve the income by having a comfort in the life, that is how we connect with Shundin.